So what I really like about this world is a lot of the a lot of the worlds are intertwined. I mean, I saw this I thought this ch I saw this chart that someone made about all the paths through the worlds and like there's a, there's paths um there's a connect there's a link between worlds for every world except for the last one, which makes sense because it's in the sky. So now I just go. We're gonna go to the kickball stadium now, which is fun. I mean, there's a lot of mini games. They added a lot of mini games. They added, they added the bosses. Like I said, the first game's great, but this game just added a ton on. Actually, so, many, so much new content they had to add like a menu option for all the stuff, so you can like go back and play it without going back into the game. I like how he knows that you're a bird and a bird bear transformed into a stony. I mean, I doubt he's ever seen you unless he was he saw me walking past you earlier, but I don't know how good their range is in this game. So now we go play kickball, which I really like. And if you go back over here, you can see that there's a gate and the switch is on the other side. You actually you come over to this world from world seven. So that's how much of a link how many it just shows how many links there are and how much backtracking you need to do some stuff. But basically there's more kickball in world seven, which is Hailfire Peaks, and you just you gotta come back here, turn into a stony and go back so you can play. Of course you can't go out into the world as a stony, you just go into a certain area. So now we just we just wanna go play kickball and we just This one's really easy. Sometimes when I have bad luck, I'll lose like the last round. Like if the balls aren't responding where you want them. Ah, oh, darn it. That doesn't matter. I'm up by a billion. Not quite. Oh, rejected! So it's just this guy like dashing around and just shooting the ball and. These guys aren't very fast. So I, I dominated that round. And like, since it's the first world, it's not that hard. Like I said, if I do, if I get terrible luck, I might lose the last round. But you can just try again, but it just wastes time if you're trying to do a speedrun. Like I said, I'm not doing a speedrun, I'm just, I'm just doing what I know. It'll be a bit slower than normal, but I, I'm gonna have fun doing this. I'm not gonna stress myself out trying to shave off every second. In the second round, they add these red balls. They take off a point, and the blue balls add a point. No, the yellow blue balls, what am I talking about? Yellow balls add two points, and red balls take off one point. So you, you, you shoot those and other people scores. <laughs> and they just kind of pass the ball between them. And later I'll try to do more entertaining games. More frustrating ones that are more fun to watch. I mean, I don't know... I mean, there are a couple places where I might get a bit frustrated, but I know, I know this game, so I'm not going to really be messing up. I mean, if you're, I guess if you're just looking for a walkthrough, this is probably really good for you, since it's, it's pretty. Everything I do is pretty clear. Maybe this, the commentary is a bonus, but I'll, I'll work on it. I know. I don't know how I'm doing right now. It's not that funny. If it's not as funny as Proton John, I'm waiting for him to upload the new Super Superman video. Let's play Superman 64, which I've watched a couple times. I mean, I've, I've had fun watching that. It actually doesn't look that terrible. And then that's a, that's a bomb. See right now, I'm just not doing as well. I want to go for the red guy. Stole that ball. All right, now I'm getting back up to snuff. 
just in time for the World Cup to be over. Thank God. I mean, so soccer is fun to play, but it's just not fun at all to watch. Because you're because we, we, we had a couple games that were like 0-0, zero to zero, and that is so exciting, you know, just watching people go back and forth, trying to score a goal. Oh, are they going to score? Oh, nope, they, the defense got it and they kicked it back. And so that just goes back and forth, and if you're on the field running after the ball, it's really fun. But it's just not one of those games that's good to watch. I don't mean to offend soccer fans around the world, but that's just my opinion. Not bashing you. If you like soccer, that's great. I don't care. See, I'm, I'm a baseball kind of guy. Some of you might find ironic since... Since some people think baseball is equally boring. But I really like it. I feel like more can happen in baseball than in soccer, so... But back to the game, I lost my train of thought there, trying to decide where I should go next. I think I'm done with the stony for now. So I will just... I'm just gonna play now, get my videos done uploading to YouTube, so I'm just gonna upload that. Oh, looks like, yeah, I guess I don't need to do anything else. So now I'm gonna go get one of the other... Damn it! That's like, that's probably like the only time I get hit, like I ever get hit by enemies. Only accident accidentally run into them. Because you're not gonna go around actively fighting enemies. There's really no need to unless you need the health. And this is a path to the to the cheat chamber, just like the the cat, the sand castle in Banjo Kazooie. And on this one. You can't sneak yet if you try sneaking like that. Like that will happen every time. But then you gotta. So next, then you gotta sneak afterwards. And he's just a stereotypical snake. So you can get into the trip to the code place at the stony, or you can you can bomb it with a grenade egg later, which you get in World Three, I think. Well, I mean the like in the world in the area before World 3, but we'll get there when we get there. I might I might mess up here, because you have to go really slow. I mean, he'll probably, I'll probably mess up. Oh, no, nope, I got it. So we can just hold it like this, hold the control stick, and just go gently. Sneak up on him. You get the jiggy. Alright, so I have five now, and I think we should have... If I don't get a white Jinjo, which will be one Jiggy, I should have about, have about ten to finish up this world for now. And then... But after this, they, they start coming really fast. So I'm gonna go outside... Uh, yeah, I think I'll go outside with the Skull and get these Jiggies. Right now we're gonna go do some first-person shooting now. Which is fun. That's what's good about action adventure games. Like you can throw in, you can dabble in a bunch of different genres. That's what that's what's fun about Zelda: Twilight Princess. Because you did like there's like skiing, and there's like arrow shooting. Except then the ending fucked it up. But the ending was probably one of the worst endings to a game ever. I mean, that was because the game was over overhyped a bit. I mean, it got delayed and it still felt rushed. There's actually a Jiggy on top of the statue, on, like, if I go around and go up the top, there's a Jiggy there. But I'm gonna get that some other time. Just another speedrun technique. Like, if I can get it on the way to another one. So basically, we have to go inside here. We have to collect these statues. They're called relic thingies, which doesn't sound very formal. And basically, it's not that hard. If you know how to get this one row, like five of them, but there's a guy protecting them, but you have to, so you have to like take them out. I'm just trying to find a ramp here to get to the top. You know, I think it's possible to beat it without it, but otherwise it's just. So you gotta. It's kind of hard to. All right, we got him. So go back around this way and go pick him up. I think there are a total about maybe three of these first-person shooter collecty things, 
And then another one that's a mini game, but you're not really collecting anything, you're just shooting. And the like the last one is like just really frustrating. And I'm back where I started, so that's great. So we just basically wander around.